Hey, how are you? I'm good, Capricorn. How are you doing? I'm fantastic, honey. How are you doing? Good, good. My, my, my light keeps hitting my forehead and my nose from my balcony, so I'm just going to have to get used to that car gleam there. So, how are you? How is everything? Everything is fine. Let me just pull this table a bit. Yeah. I was Yeah. How is that? Yeah. It's good. It's good. I was just introducing a little bit of what we are. I was just saying we are great. Uh about the title and topic we already say that. So, I was just introducing a bit of what we are going to talk about and um mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically that's it. And then you came behind us from always looking good. cool. Thank you, Kakuj. Kaku, yes, thank you, my dear. Uh, yeah, so... Hi, guys. Like, thank you so much. Yeah. So, yeah, like I was saying that we're going to talk about um, sexual harassment and rape in workplaces, uh, in general. Basically, it's something yeah. people see. It's something people see, some people experience, but they just don't talk about it or they wait until it gets to that point where it's already too much and that's when they decide to talk about it so mm -hmm. to um like okay. i would uh, I, i'm going to give the floor to my please uh, cleopatra she's there <laughs> As I'm, going, I'm eating okay, apples so... i'm eating my lunch so forgive me mm. ah so, um, as Natasha has said, guys, thank you for joining us, uh, joining Natasha and I, Cleopatra. And uh, we are officially premiering or bringing you Capricorn <laughs> Goddesses. And um, <laughs> yes, so we're going to be doing this every Saturday. I'm sure Natasha has shared before I joined in at 3 p.m. Yeah, so a little sure bit of that. Yeah. Mm. We'll be just discussing different things, uh, lifestyle, you know, even just talk about us or you or you ask us questions. Just be free with us. We want to be free with you. We want to discuss issues that affect us as uh, people, women, um, children and men. We'll just discuss together. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Kaka. Kamuti. Munyirira. Mwebale. Mwebale nyokusima. Mwebale nyokusima wana. Yeah, so uh, back to now. Let's talk about this topic. Yeah, uh, and the reason I felt like we felt like we need to talk about this is because I was going through social media like uh, the past week and um, was seeing what was happening in Nigeria, where the two ladies. Yeah, so I was like, you you see, things happen somewhere else, and you get to get wind of it and you listen to it, and then. I didn't know you ladies speak Luganda. <laughs> and, and you don't realize, you don't realize, uh, and, 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 and you have to speak up. I, I was like, let's speak up. We are here. Let's speak up and talk about it. You understand? And um, I, would, I, I, I believe, because I, 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 if you're going to talk about something, you have to do a little bit of research and you have to find out because you don't speak from a point of just, you, you're just letting hot air out of your mouth. But, I, I, if you look at the percentages of how many people go through this thing, realistically, it's so high. Sometimes it's because most people don't know how to tell if it's happening to them. Some people uh -huh. just don't know how to talk about it. You understand? Yeah. Like, I, I, would, I would honestly say, and, and first of all, speaking about it is one thing, but knowing what it is is another. Like, uh, sexual harassment is when someone makes um, unwanted advances towards you, uh, uh, comments or say something verbally that makes you uncomfortable mm -hmm. or, in, yeah. or in, insinuate something else other than what you want to hear. You understand? So I believe in understanding what it is, is in knowing what, that's when you know what exactly you're experiencing. It's just not saying that, yeah, oh my God. You understand? It's in saying, oh, sexual harassment, sexual harassment. Yeah, there is saying that, but do you understand what it is? You understand? Yeah. I, I, I will speak um, of my experience. When, when I was younger, I didn't understand at all. To me, it felt like, oh, maybe it's normal to be going through something like this. Or someone, 
to, uh, in the first place, I thought maybe it's a compliment when someone says A, B, C, D. You understand? You're bombarded by this, but you don't know which to pick out from and say, oh, maybe this was a compliment, a friendly compliment, or this was, yeah. what this is harassment. You actually just, you're, you're, you're in someone's face for no reason. You understand? So to be, it's in understanding as I went on, that's when I knew that I could differentiate that this is being harassed and this is just being complimented, like someone giving me a compliment. This is someone actually just being without any ill intention. They just say something and that's it. You understand? That's mm. how I managed to make yeah. the difference myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get, mm -hmm. yes, slowly by slowly. Yeah. yeah. I know, you know, I think it affects, uh, when it comes to sexual advances, they affect us differently. You know, you find that uh, some of us uh, as girls or as women, we don't lean into it. I used to take offense when someone would actually tell me nice ass or, um, you know, you, you, I love the gap between your teeth and it's a guy telling me because I have a diastema. Or, you know, yeah. there's, a guy, there's a time a guy said something as gross as, I would, I would, I would want to put my tongue between your gap. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. But no, we, so... were not, we were not even friends. <laughs> we, we, I and know. He was like, a, you know, like a, a mature, like someone I looked at as a very reasonable, intelligent, mature man. So you find that some of these things, sexual advances, can can become offensive, especially very. if it makes me uncomfortable, me as a yes. woman. Or even a man, because I mean, there are women who make sexual advances to the men. Yeah. But the only yes. thing is that in this case, in this case, um, and and uh, it's also proven that it's more men that are that sexually abuse women. Women are more yes. prone to sexual abuse than men are. But it happens to men as well. We don't. Yes, we it don't does. deny it that. Does. Now, yeah. since we are women, we are Capricorn goddesses. We will, you know, we will just talk about the situation that happens to us as, as women. Yes. So yes. sexual advances, and then when it comes to rape, because we are discussing that as well, rape is rape even if we are friends, and I said no, or maybe we were dating, and, you know, we had like a chemistry, and I let you to hug me, I let you to take me or kiss me, but once it gets to that point where someone is actually uncomfortable, and they're telling you no, Let's let's not go there. Let's let's keep it here. And you actually proceed as a man. It becomes yeah. rape. Yes, it is yeah. rape. Yes, it becomes it's rape. Here. As long as the other person was not with the okay, you didn't have the consent. It yes. becomes rape. Yeah, and and you see, so that's uh, like, those are the details that we want you to to talk about, and it and also the men. I'm sure there have been men who have been raped, but it's a very tricky situation, and also most victims do not speak out uh, yes. because I mean, as a man, you feel embarrassed. Yeah, exactly. As a woman, she feels, as a woman, she'll be like, I mean, they'll say we were friends, or they'll say they saw us together, and it always happens in a situation where there are no witnesses. Yeah. What I've come to realize with most of these rape cases, there is no witness. There's no one to back that other person up, unless it's a gang rape. But usually yeah. it's a, a he says, he says, and people yeah. have to be like, hmm, it's true. Hmm, what happened? I mean, and you see, like, and, you see and, in and you see, and you see, like I, 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 I see this like based on what you said is when when there are no people, you have no witnesses or whatever around you when you're mm. going through that as in when 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 it happens to you and let me say people know you around like uh, you let me say you put on tight stuff or you put on a certain kind of way and everything they never look at the other person as they blame they blame the person because based on oh you were dressed this type of way don't you think and don't you think you were enticing the person and abc but at the end of the day i think even the person who did it has the control of looking at someone dressed a certain type of way and say no Excuse me, until I mm. ask for it, you understand. And if yeah. she says yes, then yeah. both. See, it. It. because I'm wearing what's that dog? What's that dog? Mr. Ma, yeah. some people they see because you're dressed in a mini or shorts, yes. yes. And then they, and they, and, and, so they end up putting their their thing, he finds its way to inside you because you asked for it. That is just some bull crap. No, and they blame you, they blame you based on the fact that, yeah, they blame, yeah, they do that, but that is just. 
the legal you know, legally it's just like what no yeah if 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 someone gives me such an excuse you're trying to say the male species is very weak that they just can't look at something and let it be and go go about it the right way is that what you imply when you say something like that because of how I'm dressed you see the it's it's the same thing when guys always think that uh when they stand in front of a woman without a shirt on because they are doing manual work or labor whatever the woman will just look and that's okay so isn't we women look and it's fine you know so you yeah there are men who have there are men who are strong and there are men who are against um rape and sexual um sexual assault on women so there's no man that can start saying that the guys let's say the people who make who do such things especially who end up raping somebody it is it is it can be a characteristic or a trait that is in with them yeah. and and sometimes it can also happen like when i say that sometimes it happens between let's say it usually the victims are raped by people they know is because the other person the let's say the man the man gets comfortable thinking that you know what she's cool with me and she yeah. allowed me to come to her place or she's come to my place so if i if i want to do this now i i ha- it's 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 my right i get what i want i i can do yes. it and and it's it's wrong because the person you're with has not said yes they're not willing to to go that extra mile and it mm-hmm. becomes a uh, it becomes an in- invasion of their of yeah. their privacy of their decency and that's why most most victims don't want to speak out um yes. guys who are joining us thank you so much i've seen lwanda mabubu <laughs> and all you guys that are joining in please uh feel free to also post your comments or what you think about uh, yes. sexual harassment as well as um uh, rape and you know also ask questions if you want to yeah omukamalin um, um, omukamalin um, um, say sexual harassment in the corporate world is real let's normalize talking about such things well done guys thank you yeah you see that's the thing I, and and um another thing is when 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 you when you don't talk about it it psychologically becomes a problem for you you tend to start bec- you become very you seclude yourself from people they don't understand that you don't you're not open enough to talk about certain things or you start avoiding a certain person a or a certain person b because you, and you work in the same environment you understand and you can't you can't avoid each other because you have to work together you understand then it becomes a problem it affects so many things in the workplace because of just one small thing that can be avoided you understand and and because uh, you and if and and when people are doing such things they always intimidate you so that you don't say anything they always come to you like oh, they always and they always come from a position of power where they will put this in you that if you do this you're going to lose it's the same thing with business when you go into an office to try and get business for yourself and then someone the first instant you can even sit in there as the first instance you enter the office they're like mm. and then when you put something on the table at that particular time you're doing that they're balancing it out to be able to gain from that by harassing you you understand by trying to ask for things you can provide so that you can get something out of it mm-hmm. you see that's that's mm-hmm. the problem and and because we don't talk about it and we don't and we don't uh, we don't point at people who actually do it they get away with it and they continue doing it if it's not you it's the next person you understand mm-hmm. and it tends to become a, like a like you always you 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 never safe where you work from you never you always sit always uh, like you at your desk when the person comes you're like oh my god uh, is, is that it? you know you just don't want to hear hey, what that happened happen. yes let me share yeah. with you an experience i had when i was 18 uh, yeah. was it i was in my senior six vacation i think i just started my senior six vacation and i was working uh, my 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 guardian had gotten me a job at some company yeah and now when i got that job 18 i was it was a place that had mostly men uh the good thing i had a cousin uh, a, a brother like a cousin a male a cousin there and also 
the fact that my guardian knew the like main boss the I was a bit like protected but let me tell you it came to the office the office where I was the man was a bit of a uh, hmm and I can't even say I don't want to say he's he, he wasn't uh, he, he wasn't Ugandan yeah he was uh, he was an Indian so but he was elderly and I I thought the first yeah. time I went there the, the secretary his secretary told me never stay in this office alone with this man whenever i move out you move out with me and then again i was like i didn't understand it because you know you're so you're from this you're you're from home you're never i never used to go out much so the yeah. first thing that i that happened that was weird with this guy was he gave me he told me to put something at his cupboard so and i used to wear like baggy jeans t-shirt i wasn't even yeah. wearing i wasn't dressed sexy i was like a tomboy tomboy so i go to put the books up there and he comes and brushes you know brushes behind me but like you know facing me but he brushes like the chair his desk is there his brush like he's passing to sit but he was awkwardly close to my back side yeah and i was like okay wait what did that and it you you question yourself you're like did that just happen and then the next thing that happened was another time I'm doing something and then he he's passing and he accidentally grabbed my waist. And I was like with this man. So I told the lady and she was like that man has been harassing yeah. every girl that comes to this office. And the, his secretary was older. She was elderly as well and she's like just avoid being with him. Natasha, I started watching that man like a hawk. I would not be at ease when he's in the office. I would if if she's leaving, I would leave. I would find a reason to go and I didn't stay at that job. I quit after I quit after 2 months. Wow. And that's, I did better. I was I was like, do I tell do I tell my uncle? Do I tell him that this is what's happening and that's why I'm leaving? Is this how the world is? Because this was my first uh corporate like a job out there <laughs> vacation. And I'm yeah. just like is this how the world is? It makes you so uncomfortable, so uneasy as a young woman and yes. and you start questioning yourself if you're imagining things and there are people who are very good now when it comes to people who are victims, the person will manipulate you to think it is your fault. Exactly. It's like, it's like it doesn't exactly really what the person will even tell you openly because you put on a tight dress. The person will blame you and say things like as openly as saying you're put on that tight dress you're the one tempting me that's why this is happening and you're like excuse you how is my how is my dressing anything this is who i am it's not going to change today it's not going to change tomorrow this is me so what are you trying to to tell me that i should change something about myself so that you stop these advances advances towards mm-hmm. me you know so that's the thing that they the the torture the the fear the you know you 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 always you will never do your work because you're concentrating on so many things at the same time you'll never do your work to 100% because you're always thinking like yeah. mm. well, oh my god okay so he has come so now you have to always think about him or uh, think about her and then try to concentrate on your work which is something that doesn't happen uh-huh. and you see and, yeah. and 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 flipping the book when it comes to women harassing men women think because we are women oh and because they say we, we can or you can't punch a guy or you can't kick a guy you can't fight a guy that you cannot actually harass a guy you can you can because these guys no, get harassed my they, goodness they, i have seen i've seen you know like there's some women who are very um very should i say very like alpha females yeah the alpha female yeah. yes but like the ones who just want to feel like they can get what they want and and you find that this guy is hot and women will actually drool at him and then one will tap his ass i've seen it happen and the guy is hot and really good looking and he looks respectable and he was shocked you know this is all out did that just happen <laughs> but it happened because you, <laughs> you know that's you the thing the guy he takes a moment of should i what do i what do i do here do i laugh about it because it's down you know or you know the worst thing I know the weirdest thing is if he a- reacted to that and let me say like a man and he slaps her or yeah. does them something the blame is already on the man it becomes you know like it becomes a man's problem and it shouldn't be because it was the woman who started it in the first place yeah so you think 
that's the thing. It's like uh, it's like I was having a story with my mom, and then she told me there's a country where when they rape you, yeah, when you go to the police to report, or when they harass you, when you go to the police to report, you have to go with witnesses. Otherwise, you don't. You don't go. You don't go opening your mouth that oh my god they raped me. No, you come with witnesses. Now, how is it someone is going to come with a witness when when? How, how, how is it like someone is going to rape you and then they first call the whole neighborhood, hey, yo, it's rape time. Is that how it works? How can you come up with such a stupid law like that? You don't protect yeah. your own people. And, 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 and so funny when people are making these laws, they don't remember, they don't, they always forget that they are part of the human race when they're making such laws. You're going to integrate yeah. into people. So what is the whole idea of just put, you, it's like you're, you're favoring yourself like me to never touch me. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's so and and you know Yeah. Rep rep is in all sorts of ways, like uh we pointed out earlier, because it can be a coercion, uh it can be even even sexual assault, it can be through coercion, it can be through power play, someone who's you know more in a powerful place than you are. It can be in in a situation where someone is less you know, younger, like they are not legally of age to have sex. Um, that is also yeah. sexual assault because even if they had said even if they had said yes, that's why it's a taboo if a man is caught with a minor because even if that minor okay. said it's okay, it's not legally okay. You have raped yeah, that child. Yeah, because they're not at um, that stage where they understand this. Yes, yes, and then um, there's also so the rape, the rape and sexual assault uh, uh, things uh, or situations differ. But it all comes down to the fact that if someone hasn't given you consent, they are not willing, they have not allowed to participate yeah. in that action or activity. That's you true. are going against their body. You're going yeah, against but, them. But those so are these... We some, have some these, women. Yes. Uh, yeah, Becky, Becky, <laughs> Becky Salmon says they are proper narcissists. Uh, Cleopatra, to add to your sad story, it's crazy how they think. And she says, thank yeah. you, Natasha. I have heard uh, that before it's insane that they really do these things. That's why many women sadly keep quiet. Like, who is going to understand what I just went through? It's really sad. It's really, really sad. And you see, the thing is, and, 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 and there are no laws. Like, let me say, let me say in the corporate world, there are no laws that, there are lo the laws are there. That oh, sexual, you go to HR, sexual harassment, and blah blah blah. But you see, the thing is, there are some things you openly see, yeah. But because the person hasn't reported, you don't have a reason to report yourself. Like let me say, you're just a witness. You can't report because you are. You're so scared for your for your job. You are thinking about your security that you don't want to lose anything. So you're also like quiet. Mm. But at the end of the day, I think it's like a communal thing. Community. We all have to talk about it. We don't have to just wait for the person who is going through it to be the one to talk about it. I think yeah. when you witness it, you should, be, you should talk about it and there should, be, there should be laws that protect people who come forward. You understand? I'm like telling if, you. Yeah. you if, 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 let me say a, boss, uh, a person in a, in, a, in a very high position comes up with this and you see it and you go and report about it, they, they should be a reason why you should lose your job or lose your position or lose your status, whatever it is. It should, there should be laws that protect people for this. You understand? Yeah, the victims always seem to, the victims always seem to lose out um, on everything. They lose out on their careers, on their credibility, on their freedom, just because they are speaking out. And, and now, if we can change the, the dynamic, right now what's also affecting the fact that victims, real victims coming out is um, issues, you know, with everything, there's always the fake. There's always the fake. So what, what affects the real victim stories these days is that some people will claim to have been victims when they actually have not. And it becomes a problem. On, is it yeah. true? Is it not? And you find that and, and, the and, and person and being accused. You know what? Yeah, it's, 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 it's glamorizing that thing. It's, people have made it like, oh my God, sexual harassment. Like, why? 
and and that's why we, and and it, it, it they tend to turn it into a joke by doing things mm -hmm. like that accusing for no reason saying something just because you also want to be a victim to be recognized oh my god i went through it it's not it's not it's not it's not a happy place to be it's not a good thing to go through but when people just make it out to be as eh, it's just something you you know like it's it's, it's something that happens it's Botanic, that's some of that's... them some of them do it to tarnish uh, someone's reputation yeah um I know, I know a friend of mine who went through it. They were accused of rape, and and it's like almost like social media bullying. But good enough, they got out of that um, misunderstanding. It was a whole, I think it was a whole row between a certain guy who liked a girl, and the girl probably liked the guy, and then the guy. It was a whole mix-up story, but it ended up yeah. being cleared. But I was just like, oh my god, that is how you can lose your life just like this. Just by a tweet or a post online can affect someone's career and put them in a place that they can never, you know, come out of. Or if they are to come out, it will have to take strong friends, strong friendships, um, and also a belief system in yourself to make sure that you explain and you make sure that your name gets cleared. And usually yeah. these things, time tells. Time heals all wounds. The truth yes. comes out in the end. And it's it's crazy. It's crazy. So, Becky says, yes, men, men, and especially women should often talk about it. Nothing justifies at all. It really just tortures you for life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. We have a comment from... Uh... Yeah, Becky, thanks for your comment. We had yeah. another comment earlier on. I don't remember who, but I can't find it. Maybe you can on your side, Natasha. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to say, uh, yes, men and especially women should often talk about... Oh, yeah. No, uh, there, there is just something I was going to give you my own experience. I, 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 I was uh, looking for a business and I went into an office with... Imagine I went in with my boyfriend at that particular time. So because I was the one working in that department at that time and the person was like, you know what, um, I think she's explaining better because I thought because I'm explaining, it's okay. If the person says, oh, she's explaining better, uh, and I was like, you know what, it's Kawa, you can go and wait outside, I'll continue. So we, I, I continue giving my, um, I continue talking to the guy and everything. So the guy starts keeping, like, you know that thing where you keep changing topics, like you keep topics. Yeah, it's like, oh, keep changing the topic to something that I, that didn't bring me to your office. And I'm like, hmm, so you want to, like, this is the game, this is the direction. So first of all, we have us chased my boyfriend to go and sit outside. Secondly, you try to change the topic. And then the person is like, you know what? Mm, you've already gotten this. This is yours. Take it up. This is yours. And I'm like, so uh, do you want some tea? Or can we do uh, lunch to finalize this particular business? And I'm like, oh. right now your mind is not made up. It will be made up at lunchtime. What is this? You understand? I, I, what I, kind of? You understand? And I'm like, it's, okay, just, uh, it's so disrespectful. Exactly, and I'm like, okay, so you, 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 what, 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 what? what how am I supposed to, to? Do? Because at, the, at that time, you're presented by this lunch, and then you always, you also want the business. You understand? You also want the business, but then you, at that particular time, you you look at yourself and you're like, so if I'm stupid enough, not that, not that I'm saying that people who go through it are stupid. Please, let's, let's understand that. I'm just saying that if I think about it stupidly and I'm like, you know what? You know what? Let's go for that lunch because I want this business. You go for that lunch, that lunch is not going to be the only thing you're going to do to get this business. I it's, the beginning, it's the beginning it's, of an indecent proposal throughout. You understand? So I was like, you know what? Let me just be that big head and decline. I was like, you know what? I can't do lunch. I'm very sorry. If I wasted your time and everything, it's like, and and the thing, this is the thing where they turn you into the other person now who is being impossible. It's like, no, 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 why are you being very impossible? It's, it's just lunch. <laughs> I was like, I can't deal with this. If, like, if you're not comfortable with the lunch, you know, that is why we were given instincts as, as, as human beings. And yes. for the women, our instincts are even much higher. So if you're feeling like this lunch, you're not comfortable with it. 
you don't have to do it why should someone make you feel like you have to do what they want or they're making you feel like you know what you're being too uptight listen up yes, i exactly. say you know what i just listen up a bit it's okay let people think i'm uptight let them think whatever they think let them think i'm uptight too principled or or i don't know too boring it's okay i will do what i want to do and if That's i'm comfortable it. with doing it yeah that is it, it. and yeah. you see, and you see <laughs> some men go as far as to make sure you don't even get that business somewhere else you have to come back to them that's how far it goes like they make sure that you are in that cocoon just to be like you honestly if 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 some the fear is because you do if you do if you speak about it or if you tell a b c d people you're going to become the person in society they're going to talk about you behind your back and be like um um man that's the girl that's the girl of the harassment that's the girl of the sexual harassment you say it as if it's 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 it was her fault you understand she becomes or he becomes that person in society that they can't associate with because if you do they're going to talk about you or you are sexually harassing them or a b c d you understand so you become a person who can never you can never get a job you can never get business you can never be so things like that just make people keep quiet and we can't we can't really it's it's becoming there are more nice looking people being born every day our kids are going to be those people it needs to start with us we need to talk about this we protect our kids when they are young we need to protect them even for their future we need to protect them for the, what is going to happen to them we need to be different ourselves because we are going to be the people who are going to hire them in those offices we are going to be the bosses we're going to be what we need to change we need to be those people who the talk narrative. about it. do you understand yes exactly we need to be those people who don't do it honestly if if you find a girl attractive and your game is good really why would she say no if your game is good and there are so many nice no, looking girls so really nice with you guys yeah just just yeah. a moment there um uh, natasha now another problem is that um if a guy is good looking and let's say the girl is also good looking and one of them gets raped let's say the guy like, rapes the girl everyone will be saying the guy is so hot i'm sure you wanted him to but it does not justify the action even if he's hot and i didn't want yes i might have liked you but if i didn't want to get into the sexual act then you have taken advantage of me you you have taken that right of me to say yes and no away from me because because yeah. you're good looking or because you're you're well off or because you it doesn't give you a right to abuse someone else it does not and that is yeah. why some people get it wrong they think because your friends or because they allowed you or you allowed them into their space or because they are good looking they can get whatever they want it doesn't work that way and also yeah. the opposite still if a man is not good looking he doesn't have the right because good looking is is different i mean someone might uh, uh, tomato to, tomato you know yeah they don't put out yeah one man another man poison Definitely. so looks looks the part but if i don't if the person doesn't say it still goes down to consent if, if someone has said you know do not take it by force please however good looking you are you yeah. know and you see and you see even these things happen in in in, uh, in marriages my dear that when even when your wife or your husband says no it's still no if you do it against their will my dear it's still rape if if it happens in relationship marital rape exactly marital rape marital How, rape it's just the word no means no don't think no means other than what it has been said to me like it means no when i say no it's no why do you hear something else it's like someone has said something else what is that someone is what saying what no no and and because because they are fighting you it's turning you on <laughs> how ridiculous no and, and no no i'm not there's no there is no saying no when i'm pushing you and it's a yes <laughs> it should be maybe if it's a no and the person is embracing you more then that's a yes <laughs> but yeah that's a yes they 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 want that's 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 the thing i was coming to like how do we how do you 
tell the difference between being harassed, being complimented, being just someone just being friendly. How do you tell the difference? You understand? You have to tell the difference. Not everything is harassment. You understand? Not everything is harassment. And, and, and also the other way around, not every time someone is being friendly with you, it's flirting. No, my friend. Sometimes it's just friendship. Simple as that. You understand? And, yeah. and, and some people always think, oh, because she smiles a certain way and she does her head like this. Maybe I was thinking about my person at that particular time. Not you. You understand? Don't always listen to what the person says. Don't interpret these things that you want, you see in your head, in your own head. They say that assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups. So, do not assume in your mind that because the guy or the woman has said, no, it's a, it's a yes. You have to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said your noise what has finished me, but no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Now, another thing someone can tell is body language. Yeah, exactly. You can body language. Somebody. Someone is fighting you, like honestly, I'm fooling you at you at the time. Why the hell do you think I'm saying yes? And so that I, is a no. It is a no. And 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 honestly, if you see this, if you if you realize that in doing these things, you're not only ashamed yourself. You have to think of these things the wide range. When you do certain things, they affect your family, they affect your work, they affect so many things around your kids if you have kids. You understand? Some some big businessmen who do these things should listen, should come down and listen to what people talk about them around their kids, around, you understand? And you're like, oh my God, that's not something you would want to hear about your dad ever, ever in life. But then you hear someone, they're talking about your dad, about something like that. You, yes, you defend your father, but at the end of the day, some really have gone through that with your dad. Or with your mom, but the things uh -huh. they say behind it's a shaming, it shames your family, it shames your wife or your husband. Like, the thing you, you just have to think about other things as well when you're about to do something as stupid as this. Or you understand, you like, if if people go to a gathering and they're there pointing fingers at you because of something like that, who do you think is who do you think is being affected by this? If not people around your family, you want people. These things have to be thought about, and we're not only talking about people who are victimized by it. Also, people who do it that victimize other people that are around them. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's also another thing we talk about. So, I I I I read and 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 they said like at least. At least because of women, they were saying at least one woman has gone through rape or harassment in her lifetime. Can you imagine statistics just put us in that kind of thing? Natasha, if every if if it was uh, if there was a way that uh, justice was really there for the cases that are you know put out there especially rape cases of uh, yeah. uh or assault cases there'd be very many people speaking up but yeah there is the stigma of saying people will look at me differently people will say oh she was abused or maybe she's lying or can he be raped how can he even start saying as a man how can he start saying that he was sexually assaulted that's embarrassing ego all, all that stuff is what affects this whole fight against sexual abuse and um personally i mean at the time i think i almost got i almost got raped i think i almost got raped because for me i was so freaked out and it was going to be a rape case of I knew I was uh, I think 15 15 my cousin had left me home with this guy and this guy was like a distant relative and he tried to come on to me at 15 like the things you look back when you grow up you get to realize you learn why they would uh, our parents would be so protective or why, like in my school in uh, Namasagali College, Father Grimes used to tell us girls, always move in threes. 
never move alone as a girl move in threes and it got to make sense because now here you are alone in a house eh? i had to run and lock myself up in a room natasha this is something i've never even shared like i don't even know yeah. what i'm saying on this platform yeah but yeah, I, yeah. like we said yeah, yeah that's how it is real it starts with one there. person yeah it starts with one person yeah that so i i i almost got raped by somebody i thought was you know cool and i had to lock myself up in a room until my cousin came back home you know and after that i was like i want i want to go back home that's where the visit ended and she had she had never known what happened yeah I but understand. the good thing is that, that that guy apologized but imagine if he had actually done it if i had exactly. been weak the good thing i by then i used to do martial arts i used to train i used to train um taekwondo so i was yeah. a bit of you know i was very daring so i fought him off and managed to run and lock myself up but imagine if i hadn't been able to and he does it then he is telling me sorry later would i be okay with it you know you so know i so this is a situation yeah, I, people go through yeah and 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 i i think i went through a similar thing and exactly at the same age but mine was i was physically hit somebody hit me backhanded me imagine a 15 year old kid and and because when a such a neighborhood where they they are like people around when they hit me i hit uh, the wall with my other chick and when that happened i was about to scream and the person said that you dare you die so in that way they they put me in a place and they told me to keep quiet and that's the only way i would leave that place and when i kept quiet i you don't you need to understand the things that were going through my head i'm going to die as if you're that young you really don't know how to protect or to even do anything i was like i'm going to die i'm going to die that's the only thing i just had in my head i'm going to die i'm going to die but when i got out of there i ran like bolt got nothing on me bolt has nothing on me you i ran out of that place <laughs> the only thing i think was, like... the only thing they saw was my shadow and there was no person the shadow stayed there i left it <laughs> so as it was that you understand i ran away and, and my whole cheek was swollen and everything my mom asked me and i lied i told my mom i fell i fell and that's why my cheek is swollen but you need to understand this thing affected me throughout my life until i told myself it can't continue doing this if 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 let me say i i was vibing with someone and i like the guy and invites me for something as simple as a dinner and they cooked me dinner or whatever i would sit at the door like an askari you know so it just psychologically tortured me to the point that i would it sit at the door up with your mind exactly it messes up with your mind because if you don't even trust the next guy because you're like oh my god the guys they are guys he's stronger than me he's a guy he it's, he I've can change his mind not you know? Anastasia and and guys who are tuned in right now i don't know if you've watched for colored girls but if you have not watched for colored girls it's a movie by uh Tyler Perry i think but for, yeah Tyler Perry yes. but there is a scene where this woman gets raped and she becomes and she could not believe how things change she could not believe i want you guys to look for for colored girls yesterday i was yeah. watching my dear go on my dear's family reunion yeah and i watched it thinking it's a comedy but as usual Tyler mixes comedy yeah. humor with serious issues So there was this girl who yeah. ended up revealing her own mother because the mother yeah. was married to another man her own mother ended up having yeah. to decide because the man was rich and she didn't want to lose the man and she she and the man yeah. wanted her daughter she yeah. ended up brushing the girl's hair and told her you know what relax and then she let the man rape her own daughter this is how protective we need to be of our children as men and as women if you have a child or it's a step child please do not like what is more important it's the money because the kid has to be abused she the girl is that and that on her life and it takes a and lot she was scared to love and to let in a man who wanted to love yeah. her you you see this is the thing about uh, that that kind of that kind of torture to the mind 
you will never understand it and it, it you who has caused it you think you are like ah, you feel you're okay because you're not going through it but the torture that someone goes through when they go through some something like that it's but i never i was never raped i was never assaulted that way but i was hit someone slapped me someone threw me there and i i I started I started living in this world where I just didn't trust men. I really didn't. I I couldn't. Yeah, I, you're always thinking you're always thinking um what's your intention? Exactly. Um, what do you what do you want from me? Yes. You decide you want you will even just a phone call guest or someone asking you out. You're kind of like hesitant to go on the date because you're like yeah. You understand? You you're like, "Oh my god, what uh, what what if? What if?" You always have what ifs and the what ifs are not for a good reason. They are what ifs like what if this happens to me? What if this goes on? You understand? So I I stayed in that what if place for a minute and I didn't know that I may I needed help. I needed to talk about it or I needed to tell someone about it. I didn't understand then. Do you understand? So it has like I said it has to start with us. Let's start talking about these things. You need to tell your kids every day, and let it be girl boy let's talk about it to our kids let's tell our kids this is this is wrong don't do this they no no umringa ya one time was yeah. said and we're talking about we're talking about kids and she one day said something she she has a uh, a boy and a girl and she was telling me she's i think she's the person who made me realize you have to talk about your kids no matter what she was telling me how she tells yeah. her daughter and her son things as candidly as openly as it is not trying to sugarcoat and say things like this and that yes. and i was like and yes exactly and i was like does it what she was like i have to i have to tell them this because at the end of the day i don't want them to go through it and blame myself that oh i didn't tell my kids this you understand we need to talk about it we ne- honestly right now I, i i think i've spoken to my son about this more than i i have told him what advances are wrong what he should never do as shown or what i have spoken to him what should, if they do this to you this is wrong if you do this to yeah. a lady this is wrong or to if you say something like this this is wrong you need to learn to respect in respecting someone else is in respecting yourself because people think because you you say things you you're not respecting yourself you come off like a sleazy let me not use big words but just a sleazy person you understand <laughs> you understand it's okay girl you don't say sleazy man yeah you know you can't go like you know <laughs> so i so i just yeah so i you have to teach your kids it's not only girls Yeah, that's it. I, I yeah, remember my girl. I remember my experience with my mom and my uh because of, uh, I'm just uh, me and my brother. We were only born to You and Alex. Yeah, me and Alex. But you see, they w- my mom would talk to me about certain things, but then exclude Alex because he's a boy. But we were all young and I'm like that that cannot work now if you decide to talk even boys go through it. I think in that yeah. time because to think boys cannot go through it boys are strong you can fight I'm a feeling it I'm a feeling even then it was worse it's just that now we have the platforms to speak about these things we have the movies that film these issues that happen we, yeah. there's a lot more um internet open there are no secrets there are no things behind the door because the internet brought things to the front to the yeah. forefront so if we were talking about and reaching about and filmed but i i believe i have my 6 year old girl as you know and i'm talking to her already about you know kissing i tell her nobody nobody should kiss you except mommy and me i give you to says on the cheeks on the cheeks if anybody and of course she says i'm what about dad and i say even dad dad can give you kisses it's okay but you know she's like i told her no kissing on the lips yeah mm-hmm. Uh, and then she's like and what about I mean she start listing what about Auntie Natasha what about what, what I tell her just keep the kisses on the cheeks and if you don't know somebody do not let them kiss you then I tell yes. her don't let anybody touch your tutu you know yes yes her private I tell her don't let yeah. anyone touch your private area nobody Very should important. okay yeah 
yeah. bathing herself she's learning to do it herself and even with a boy the boys also need to be told to to know how to protect themselves because they might think it's okay you find that young boys get abused as well so we have to protect as as mothers as parents as as people who care about others out there we have to protect each yeah. other really and you see we i'm seeing someone here other. I think I think they say depends on uh, depend by the age of how you talk to your kids. You see one thing about kids is they have they sp- they are sponges. Their brains are sponges. Everything you send to them they keep in there. They just keep sucking it in and staying in there. They store it so, somewhere. Yeah, they store it somewhere. And trust me that all the if you remember you remember the games you played as a child. You remember all those games you played as a child. You remember the most memorable thing like you make it a a a, a thing don't just t- talk to them one day and you stop no it has to be a thing you have to talk to them all the time it has it's important yeah. to always talk to them you don't say it once and then you're like i, I spoke to you and it's done or come here no yeah please go on talk about it always just keep refreshing and their minds are very young and very open to every new experience they will keep it in they will remember about they will remember it let it be a boy let it be a girl mm-hmm. T- teach your, your sons not to take advantage of women or men or saying things that are just what no to them even uh, when you see condescending exactly and and when you see them doing it you will see you can see a, a something that is wrong with your child when they're younger you can bend it because that was a responsibility given to you as the parent because you are the parent yeah yep when you see These something are the family. yeah and and the thing is you have to remember be honest to yourself don't see something and and sugar coat it and and because it's your kid and you're like okay munange ajakuchuka those things are saying they will change no it's you to change them it's you to be able to yeah. change their mindset that is your job given yeah. to you by god you understand okay we have the prince balek say yeah a uh, good topic it actually scares me every single day uh, but didn't think of it to tell my kids about it now however i always yell i yell at them that if someone touches they should tell someone yeah um, but yelling yelling okay, is prince, not good yelling is yell. not good yeah at them uh, i think because that would scare them which is more yeah. you be they'll be scared and wondering okay so you make them feel like they're the ones in the wrong yeah yet they should know that it's their right to protect themselves and the yes. people that are trying to take advantage and actually as parents natasha is a mom to a 15 year old and my mom to a 6 year old she has a son i have a daughter and yeah. we are encouraging you guys to talk to your to your, to your children as early as possible because the ages 3 to 10 are the founding years yes so, yeah 3 to 9 they are the founding years the things you teach them in that time that is building their character Oh, that yeah. is building who you will be there is no way you're going to say that after 10 years that's when you'll start talking to them about sex because already yeah, because you right think now, the world is too yeah. fast the world is too fast the kids are becoming they start their periods at about 8 it, they grow up too fast there is no the time is so i have to start talking to them now yeah you you need to it's very 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 important let me say you something and 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 and, and Honestly also let's educate ourselves as parents let's not say talk to your kids well, without educating yeah. ourselves about what we should talk to our parents about let me tell you, there's no rule book there is no manual there is nothing that comes of how to be a parent techiri yo it's not no. there and let's not you learn as you go you just you, you know it's a job you get on the day you give birth to the kid and you and that's by the way, it's a, it's, a, it's a forever job it's you're going to be like that forever the thing is let's not criticize other parents and we think yeah, we are the best let's not do no. that let's yeah. work hand in hand as parents mm-hmm. if you see something talk to the other parent burundi don't also come from a point of like you're on a high horse you're like eh, your kid then no yeah you know you know, know that, you know those parents who make you feel like you're not doing right 
Excuse you? Excuse you? What, which like, shoot, which shoot did you go to that I don't know about? I'm like, what? please, this is my child. <laughs> this is my <laughs> child. Do you know that thing of looking down on you like, hey, excuse me? No, 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 no. My friend, there's no every room for parent has their way. Yeah, every, every parent has a way they do it. They have a way they talk to their child. They have a way they bring up their child. That's why there are different characters in this world my dear not everyone is going to be like you you need different people i think you don't i i would honestly say i would never marry me by the way i can never if i ever met me in a time i would never marry me because i'm an impossible person uh let me see here uh i i saw um baleke saying that instead of writing uh he was he was meant to write tell instead of yell okay oh, get... okay yeah, yeah okay, i get uh, and then let me see uh, saying at Marvin Villas women abuse women abuse isn't racism but it's been there from day one abuse is anything it can it can it, it's anything it can be mentally physically or emotionally it's not about racism white or black they are all abused rape it is yeah that's true it has nothing to do with race maybe in compare um okay we are remaining with one uh, one minute uh for the for the live to go off but we are going to go off and come back for 30 minutes yeah cleopatra so it's about to go off so yeah. we'll come back and then uh, we'll finish the topic yeah let's yeah. uh so if it goes off guys just know we are coming back so I, I was saying yeah let it be white black yellow whatever color you are this happens to every color it has no one no difference nothing whatsoever it doesn't so let's not do that where we say that oh because it's this or the other let's not do that let's just know that it happens to everyone let's not compare it to something else let's just understand it is what it is I understand um let me see um okay. we have uh, uh, Baleke. Baleke. i have a question that's off topic have I don't have <laughs> Yeah, I have turned off, but she doesn't talk to me about certain things. I don't know if it's because I have been away from her for long. Um, kids, uh, oh, the, the thing about uh, kids, when they reach the teen years, they also have this thing of thinking they are way smarter than you, Bro. way cooler than you. Yeah. Oh, my God. The teenage thing. You know, I think, I think we'll talk like they about know. this when we come back on. Because uh, let me just see if yeah. other question is there. Uh, is, there's no other question. So because the minute uh, the Nini is about to go, off, let's talk about this when we come back. Yeah, let's do that, Cleopatra. Okay. Right? Ayasawa. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so um, we'll be back, guys. Capricorn yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back. Yeah, my cup has already gone black. <laughs> okay. <laughs>